Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Breiner from Synergist Technologies with another Fusion 360 tip. Uh, this one I want to make it kind of quick, but um, recommended mo uh, modeling workflow. Uh, we've all got the ways we model and that's absolutely fine, but um, I thought I would take a moment to uh, review what's, what's probably you know just a good workflow that helps avoid any kind of uh, problems as you continue on with your work. So one of the things that I've, I found and it's it, it's wide not industry wide but a lot of a lot of people use this. I mean we just uh, end up creating a sketch uh, you can you can strain that sketch, uh, add your dimensions and finishing constraints, um, extrude, and then add basic work features that will most of them that will not move, add your holes, uh, and lastly add fillets and chamfers. So quickly I just thought I would go over and uh, kind of show you let's uh, step back kind of through this quick workflow. So you know all I really did here was uh, create a sketch and um, and on this sketch I just added my uh, geometric constraints. So if you look in I, I, um, I added some geometric constraints first and then um, my uh, dimensions to fully constrain my geometry. So, um, and that's kind of like the way I like to work. Go through geometric constraints first using your constraint palette and then add your dimensions. So we'll finish that. Uh, then I, you know, again, what I did is I went through uh, after fully constraining. Um, I went through and uh, extruded my shape. I added the rib uh, through that sketch. So now I've got uh, I've got most of my sketch uh, fleshed out the way I want. Um, I added a sketch in the back to um, to add some um, some holes. Uh, I added those holes. Now this isn't something really. Um, now I added um, a fillets in the front to round off the front nose here, and I did this. I'm going to add a hole in the middle, but I did this mostly just to make sure that I I get my center um, center radius point. So I added a sketch, uh, placed a point on there so I could create a hole out of my hole so I added my fillet just so I can make sure I get my constraint point there um, so I could add my hole feature. Now um, I look at most of my geometry is mostly done now I added all the holes um, my rib everything's uh, pretty much done now that everything's finished uh, building out uh, the majority of my part I'm ready for adding fillets. Now I always wait to the very end to add any fillets and chamfers uh, because these are the ones that are just a little bit touchy. If you end up changing the size of something or maybe um, some of your geometry interferes with a fillet, uh, it, it can get a little bit squirrely. So a uh, big recommendation is always leave your fillets and chamfers to the very end. So not that it's um, you know, a big surprise, but um, again, we just go over do your sketching, uh, do your uh, geometric constraints on this sketch first, then add your dimensions, and you may add to finish with a few geometric constraints. So, uh, constraining and dimensioning your sketch uh, in that order. Uh, do your extrusion, then you start adding any of your basic work features, um, and add your holes, and lastly, almost always lastly, uh, add your fillets and chamfers to finish out your part. All right, uh, thank you for joining me. I hope this uh, helps you avoid some um, modeling problems that we uh, sometimes all run into. Uh, this might make your life a little bit easier. Um, again, thanks for joining me. Uh, this is Dave Briner. Uh, till next time.